You know it's lit and lit. So welcome to another episode of the True Boots. It's your girl Chinchilla. So guys, we're gonna be talking about Cardi B feeling hopeless and clapping back at Nicole. Beyonce was potted. Plus Nicki Minaj just land a new music role, and your girl Megan The Stallion land the under thirty on the fourth list. So guys, stick around. Let's get right into the video. Welcome, going beautiful people welcome to my channel the female rap roots before i get into this video please like subscribe and share yes guys so welcome back so guys the first thing we're gonna talk about is cardi b yes guys so cardi b is back on the gram and she's back on twitter we all know she's <coughs> Her husband Offset just lost his um his cousin, his nephew, take off. Rest in peace, take off. So, you know, she was off social media, um, grieving along with the family. Well, she's back and she's back in Cardi B fashion. And we already know Cardi B fashion, you know, she's clapped back at anybody that is coming at her. So yesterday, guys, um, a person on TikTok, um, I don't really know her, but her name is Nicole um, Arbor. I think she's maybe an influencer or something like that. Well, Cardi B posted a video of Offset, and in the in the video, a song was playing, and it was talking about you know killing, you know, buck you on the side of the lane and murder you, something like that. But it has something. It's it's about gun violence, and we all know Takeoff just lost his life from gun violence. So Nicole Umbert took to her Twitter and then she tweeted out um, and she was like, hold on guys. She was like a few weeks after um, his cousin was murdered over a dice game, Offset making a new music video, shooting people and shooting places up. Not a single thing was learned. So in true Cardi B fashion, guys, you already know Cardi B clapped back at that. So... Cardi B clapped back and Nicole was like, my bad y'all, Cardi B just posted the video and I was sure it was Offset rapping about the murder with a fake gun. Honestly, my bad if that's not what this video is. So she was trying to clear up that the her first tweet was she thought the song that was playing in the voice in the video was recorded by Offset, but apparently it wasn't. So she tried to clear that up. So of course Cardi B got um, wing of that and everything like that, and Cardi B clapped back. And my thing is, why do you have to always clap back, Cardi B? Like why you have to clap back to every single body? every single one why you can't just black it out you just came back on the internet why do you feel the need to go back and forth while you're grieving with your husband huh why do you feel to do that but nicole didn't stop there right after cardi b um tweeted out um your community don't sing about um mass shooting and fuck and you know effing their cousin yet y'all still do it mind your pink neck business and so nicole started talking about her brother and everything but guys i do have a video here because nicole did take to her twitter and she break down everything that happened and explain why she went um she tweeted out, out at cardi b and guys cardi b tell the girl that her mother is gonna be murdered guys check this out and rightfully dragged right across Black Twitter. Thank you, Black Twitter, for being on my side, because I made sense. Cardi B posted a video of her husband, Offset. He was holding a fake gun, dressed like the Joker, shooting towards the camera with the lyrics, catch a body, broad day, shoot him in the hallway. When I saw her post that, just a couple weeks after they buried Takeoff, who was in the Migos, super talented guy. Nobody had a bad thing to say about him. He's the cousin slash nephew slash pretty much brother of Offset, and he died in a senseless shooting during a dice game. When I saw her post that, I just thought, what could possibly be more disrespectful to the name of the guy who just passed in the same way? She didn't get it. I, I posted how we don't want to be condoning violence, and her response was violent. <laughs> I tried so hard and got no far. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Cardi B doesn't seem to get points unless they're on her nails. It's like the point went right over your front lace. Unbelievable. I even tried saying it in Spanish in hopes that something was getting lost in translation. Instead of trying to understand where I was coming from, she went to the wheel of woke. She's a 
racist. We're going to call her a racist, everybody. Call her a racist. Sorry about this, Cardi, but we can't actually find anything racist she's done or said. In fact, she raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for the Bronx, your hood, um, during the BLM riots when businesses were broken up. What do we do? You want us to Photoshop tweets to pretend she's racist? Then? Oh, okay, maybe this girl Nicole's on to something because I, f- I feel afraid for my life. If the response to anybody in a debate is that they're a insert phobic here, chances are they know they're wrong. I'll tell you why I found this disturbing, and frankly, you should too. Reason the first. Name a song on mainstream radio right now that's about killing white people. Na- name a song that's charted that's about killing white people. Do you not find it disturbing that it's okay for us to promote music that talks about killing black people, specifically black men? Not, not like they're human beings, like they're bugs. We shouldn't be desensitizing ourselves to the murdering of young black men. And this is what's happening. It's being treated the same as stepping on an ant. Which takes me to my second point. When we are desensitizing society, what do you think the result will be? When we're feeding that to police officers, when we're feeding that to the media, then we end up with things like police brutality. Because even if you don't want to be desensitized to that, if the music and the culture and everything we're seeing in entertainment is constantly desensitizing a person to brutalizing Black people, specifically, it keeps happening. And I'm very aware that I lack melanin in my skin, but these freckles are in fact the color of my soul. And that part says we're supposed to judge each other based on our character. Cardi, you know I was making points and you're just mad I made them. Number three, I understand a grieving family. And I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to the name of Takeoff. I was trying to make his death mean something. Can I personally stop it? No, this this is like, this is what I can do. I'm just a pink neck from the suburbs. At what point do we say these recording artists are exploiting their culture? You could just as easily be putting into the minds of young men, black men are kings, entrepreneurs, empire builders, good husbands, good fathers, But the messaging you're choosing to put out there is that the life of a black man isn't worth anything. Black lives matter. I agree. So act like it. Point number four, and I think this is the most important one, everybody is somebody's takeoff. You know, shoot them in the hallway. Who are you talking about? That's somebody's kid you're talking about. That's somebody's brother. That's somebody's cousin. That's somebody's takeoff that you're talking about. Just shoot them broad day in the hallway. That's a person. And if you don't want that to come to your family and to your people, why are you putting that energy out there? The law of attraction is real. We all know this. We know that what we're putting out is going to come back. If we don't want that to continue to come back in a cycle, listen, I don't have to remind everybody, but black people have been through some shit, specifically in North America. Why do you want to make it harder? Catch a body broad day, shoot him in the hallway. Oh, now those kids there, they don't have a dad. So they're going to grow up fatherless. That mom's going to have to work overtime. She's probably going to have to do things that she's not proud of. Kids are going to be by themselves. Maybe there's a grandma that can help out. Maybe not. But those kids aren't going to have the same opportunities that maybe some white kids have because because that happened because that shit was normalized. Oh, now his homies that are around him, they're depressed. And uh, now they're going to get on drugs because they're so upset for what they just witnessed. They lost their friend. Woo, woo. That's the sound of the police are here now. They're getting arrested for taking those drugs to deal with the depression that they experienced from their friend dying. Now their kids don't have a father either. So now that's a whole generation that we're fucking up from this attitude that certain lives don't matter. What you're posting and glorifying There's no glory in that. History will just keep repeating itself. And all this division shit is over. Like, it's tacky. It is expired. Beefing on Twitter instead of listening to each other to try and understand a position? Tacky. White girl, stay in your lane. Sorry, I got confused. You want allies, which is what I've heard the last few years? Or, like, you want people to shut up and just, like, you you gotta... Because if I'm an ally, I'm gonna be a real ally, which is a friend. And I'm gonna tell you when shit's fucked up. That was fucked up. And it continues to be fucked up. I get that that's a lifestyle, but I also get that we have the power to change the messaging. So true. So guys, that was Nicole. She was breaking on everything that happened yesterday. And my thing is, it seems like Cardi B doesn't comprehend. And I think that's her issue. She just quick to attack because nothing that Nicole said um, was an attack on Cardi B, in my opinion, guys. These are my opinion. But Cardi B did um, release did release a voice note on Twitter. And of course, in true Cardi B fashion and style, again, you know, she's going to beg for that sympathy. But then in the midst of that, 
she's also sending trip well guys check this out thing and you know we're living our life normally but deep down inside our hearts have been so heavy and i feel like if i talk about the internet so desensitized i feel like if we talk about how we really feel and like what motherfuckers really been going through y'all will start saying oh sympathy oh sympathy and we don't want no sympathy we ain't no charity case but no lie i have i have been feeling so hopeless trying to make my husband happy trying to make him crack a smile fucking seeing him randomly cry see him trying to distract his mind completely fucking scheduled been changing trying to keep up with work after everything that he been going through these past couple of weeks we not in the mood to be fucking playing around with y'all dead ass i would dead ass kill y'all stop fucking playing that is just crazy right how you come to the internet trying to say you're feeling hopeless but in the same breath you're wishing death on other people talking about you will kill somebody like cardi b is just always looking for that sympathy whenever she do something when people start drag her but guys enough of cardi b let's talk about Nicki minaj so guys Nicki minaj has land a role a movie role in a movie we all know that she's an actor you know baby girl have skills yes she does so she will be starring in the um, upcoming movie called the house party that's set to be released in january 2023 guys are you excited because i am excited it's been a long time the coming out hasn't been on been on the big screen also, there's rumor that she should be headlining um, the Lollapalooza um, 2023 um, festival. So let's stick around. Let's see. Um, let's keep our eye for that, guys. As soon as I hear more about it, I definitely come give you all the exclusive of every single thing, right? So next, we're going to move on to Megan the Stallion. So Megan the Stallion lands a cover of Forbes on the turtle list and they're saying that she looks stunning by the way like the orange on her skin and everything she looks so beautiful she looks so flawless like megan is a beautiful melanin chocolate tall stallion black woman she's very beautiful she do a lot of things that i don't like i don't agree with but the girl's beautiful and she can write so um she talked about her upcoming album and her setting to tour in, um for 2023 and she also make over 13 million dollars this year so megan is out here doing her thing and to be honest we just have to just congratulate her you know they're calling her the stream queen i guess i don't know those sales that we've seen from those album it doesn't reflect that but she's got a lot of streams because we all know she has some bangers out there so guys guess who was spotted outside yes the queen be herself so beyonce was spotted she and her husband be um jay-z i don't know what if they were going for dinner or what it is but it was so cute check this out guys beyonce b to the a i mean b to the s whatever <laughs> take care beyonce i love you you run the world remember that <laughs> No, guys, but isn't that cute? Um, but how you forget to, to spell Beyonce? B to the to the to the A to B to the. <laughs> it was funny, but how she reacted was so cute. You know, Beyonce don't really talk to anybody, especially paparazzi. So I think that was cute. But guys, we have come to the end of the videos. Um, thanks for making it this far. Um, please subscribe, like, and share. Remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell their grandmother, uncle, their cousin that your girl Chinchilla is over here in the troop booth and it's lit, 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 lit day. So guys, until next time, please remember to love yourself, um, work on your mental health, stay positive, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah! Island girl, island girl, me a Trinidadian girl, bilingual, mash any girl face up.